What's going on guys, Shaha Man back with another NECA toy figure review. Back with another horror review. We're close to Halloween. There's going to be a lot of horror reviews coming up in the next few days. And right now we have, I think this is a Best Buy exclusive because that's where I picked this up. I don't see it anywhere else. I think NECA's website has it. But right here is the sequel to Barloff's Frankenstein. We have the Bride of Frankenstein. Now this is a huge box. It says here, the monsters demand a mate. That's, that's just funny. Awesome um, image right here in the front. Come to the side, you have, this is a brand new sculpt too for Frankenstein, but you got Frankenstein there, Frankenstein's monster, and then right there, there's Bride of Frankenstein and Frankenstein. You can see there's different ways that you can display him. He does come with several accessories, which we're gonna open up right here. So first off, there's the flap, and you come right over here, and there he is, you have Frankenstein with all his awesome accessories. And like I said, this is a brand new sculpt, and that's that's what really attracted to me this, for, uh, attracted me to this set. But how cool this guy looks. And you guys will see once I take him out. He's got two different head sculpts and tons of accessories. So let's go ahead and open this bad boy up. And let's see if this guy is a pickup or a pass. All right, guys. Let me show you the insert that you get. So you get this really cool backdrop for all you toy photographers out there. You can use this as a back shot there. So we got that. And then let me show you everything that we get. Right here we have a loaf of bread. I mean, why not, right? He's going to definitely want to eat something so that's pretty cool that include a loaf of bread uh, you also get a like a little cup like a coffee cup so this is pretty pretty cool you can see the inside of that it's got a little bit of spill on there the handle there's the bottom so a little coffee cup and you get a bowl which uh, looks to be like a bowl of soup so that's pretty cool nice little bowl there let me zoom in a little bit so you guys can see that that is pretty cool that he comes with that. And you got like that blood on his hands. You get that hand. Um, you, you also have a open hand here. Again, very cool. If this one right here, it's another somewhat open hand, but I like the, the paint, the blood. It's very glossy. So you got that. Those are the accessories, but you get some interchangeable head sculpts too. So we get a total of two different head sculpts here for Frankie. Look at these ones, dude. You get a smiley one. And you get like a uh, face right here. This one, it almost looks like he's saying cheese. And he's like looking to the side. This is so nice, man. This is such a great looking head sculpt. Look at that. Very cool. There's the side. Here's the other side here. You can see the little blood dripping down on the side. There's the top of the head sculpt. And then there's the back. This is probably, I don't know. I really like this one. And then you also have this one right here. It's a little bit more of like a sillier head sculpt. Look at gay smiling. Look at that. That looks really good. That's I mean that's not everything. You also get the chair. So we have the platform here for the chair, and you can see the stones. It's weathered. Got a little bit of like uh, dirt on there, and then there's the bottom. So you have the base, and you also have the seat itself. Again, it's like this the actual part where he sits down is like made out of stone. It looks like these slots are just gonna pop in. You have the wood frame right there on the back. And then these are, like, uh, I believe, the shoulder rests. And you have the shoulder harness here with some real chains. All right, check that out. You got some you got some real chains here. There's a chain right there. See if that'll, look at that. All real chains, guys. Come to the back. This is what the back of the seat looks like. So you have some metal panels. And then, again, there's the bottom. Oh, also, he does come with extra chains and shackles, too. So you can put these around his arms. So I don't know how all this is going to look. Let me see. Oh, he also does come with some extra chains too. So you, there's two of them with uh, sh shackles on them. So, I mean, we we're going to figure out how you can do this, but you can see right there, he does come with two actual real chains. But let's bring out really quick Frankie. There he is, guys. Look at him in all his beauty. This guy looks really good. Uh, this is actually a really good head sculpt. Look at that. Looks great. Great paint apps. I love the outfit and you can see the jacket's kind of torn and it looks like you can see it's a it's a sleeve that he's wearing underneath. And then yeah, his jacket's definitely falling apart. It is soft goods on the on the top part and the bottom is just all sculpted uh, black, but I, th I think it looks fantastic, man. This is such a great looking looking sculpt. The, that looks really good. Look at the wounds. Yeah, it looks nice. 
Outfit's very weathered. He got his diabetic shoes on. Look at those big bad boys. There's the bottom. He does have peg holes at the bottom of the feet. And then the backside of Frankie. Yeah, this is this is fantastic, man. This is this guy came out so good. I like the tear that he has here too. Look at that. He's got a tear right in the shirt. This looks so, so good. Uh, let's go ahead and switch out some of the head sculpts to see what, what looks good. So again, we have this one right here, which looks awesome. I think this one looks good on the body. Look at that one. That looks really awesome. So let's go ahead and put the chair together so we can show you on camera how to do this. I'm pretty sure this is gonna be self-explanatory. I think this is just gonna slide into the slots like so. Maybe not. This has to be the front, right? I don't think it goes this way because he needs the the, le the feet the feet room. Let's see. Don't want to break this. There we go. Okay. So there's the whole platform right there. There's the whole chair. Looks really good. So we can do that. And then we're going to go ahead and sit Frankie down. We'll bend his, his legs here. Let me see. Where's the photo on this? Okay. So this goes... We're gonna move this out of the way here, these chains. Oh, there's a lock on there too. I didn't even realize that, see that? There's actually a lock and there's a little area where you put the key. So that is pretty cool. Okay, let's see how well we can do this. So we'll get Frankie to sit right here. Wonder if I can get him in an actual seating, like fully seating, fully seated, so there's no gap. I mean, you're probably gonna have to really art get his articulation down right, but I think that looks good, there you go. And then we'll get some shackles. We'll get some shackles on him. I think uh, for the shackles, we're gonna have to probably most likely pop off the the hands. And I'm think I'm assuming yeah, it's gonna go right here on this part. And then let me move the camera down just a bit so you can see there's these holes right here. And I'm I think these are gonna yep, those are gonna plug in right there, right there on the holes on each side. So what we can do is we'll pop off Frankie's hands. There you go, look at that, that looks crazy. Normally you see like a peg on there, there's no peg. So we can stick these there, pop in the hand, there we go. And then we'll get the other one right in there. And again, we'll pop in his hand there. Okay, and we'll put this peg right in there, in that little slot. See how that fits. All right, and then we'll sit him right there. And then you can like get his arms out like he's trying to escape or something. Look at that. Look at that, that is so cool. All right, it doesn't really specify. I think these are supposed to maybe go up like on the ceiling, these chains that they have up here. But I mean, look at that. I, this, is, this is how I'm gonna display him though. I mean, you can obviously display him standing up without the shackles if you really wanted to. Uh, there is, let me see, is he fully sitting down? I mean, if you have his back all the way against there, he's not fully sitting. I'd probably have to mess with the articulation a little bit more, but I'm pretty sure you can get him flushed against the, uh, the seat there. But this looks good, guys. This looks really, really good. I think a lot of you guys are gonna love this. It's, um, it's not that heavy either got a little bit of weight to it but that's only because of Frankenstein and this this just looks great I, I love how this came out it's an awesome awesome display piece guys and you know there's again there's so many different ways that you can like pose him because he does come with obviously accessories I mean you got the soup you got the bread you have the uh, cigar the one with the cigar right here which is actually pretty sick and then the coffee cup you got two different interchangeable head sculpts, so it's really up to you which one you want to use. But for me, I am displaying bleh, displaying him like this. And if you have like a cool backdrop or like some lights in the background, I think that would really bring this figure out a lot better. I think the seat's cool. And for a $60 price tag, you really cannot go wrong with this guy. This guy just came out fantastic. It's been a while since I picked up a Universal Monster figure by NECA Toys, but I had to pick this up when I saw it in person. And just the sculpting on this is so, so well done. The fact that you get a chair and metal chains just adds 
to, to this, man. It's so, so awesome. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about this. Is it a pickup? Is it a pass? And I hope you guys are enjoying these horror reviews. We got a lot more on the way. Thumbs up the video, guys. Share the video. We'll see you soon. Later.